Hi, I wanted to show you what came in the mail today and it was the other half of my Sephora order. You might have noticed last week I put up a post about what I got from Sephora and part of it was that Bon Voyage uh, holiday kit from Tarte which I have really been loving. It's just fantastic. Um, but the other half of it didn't come somehow. They said they packed it and it even showed it on the order slip that it was there, but it really wasn't. And so I called customer service and they said, oh, we're so sorry, no problem. We'll reship the other half of it. No questions asked. And I really, really love that. So hooray for Sephora, love it. So the first thing that I was really excited to get was this. It was the Hourglass Ambient Powder the ambient light powder and uh, I got it in diffused light and this one is kind of the slightly yellow toned powder that's how they describe it and it looks like this um, looks like I already got a little divot of my fingernail got in there when I was like oh check it out I um, mean it looks really white here on my finger but it does have a slightly yellow cast and it does have a really pretty uh, it's hard to see them on my phone here at the office um, but it does have a really pretty um, sheen to it. And I was using this giant brush. It's a, a brush from Flower I, Flower Cosmetics, the Drew Barrymore line. Um, but I, I got just a little bit of it and swirled it around. And I found that, you know, more than anything, I don't really feel like it's, um, like, hiding anything. You know, it, it just makes my face, it doesn't make it look super shiny, so it's not like a super highlight. It just makes it look slightly more awake and makes it it does hide the pores a little bit and i like that hello <laughs> for a 40 year old smaller pores thank you very much <laughs> i do like that a lot but i also like the way that it feels on my skin and that's fantastic so i'll be using this as a finishing powder and we'll see how things go so i like that the other thing that i got and this was a um uh, points perk you know you can spend your points however you want when you earn them um, and this is one of the things that I got it's a small sample of Victor and Rolf's flower balm I've been using flower balm for the last nine years I actually got the first bottle of it um, my parents picked up they were on vacation in Germany and they saw it in the window they had just launched in Europe and it launched before it was even available in the United States because it wasn't available for the next 12 or 14 months here in the States. And so my mom picked up a bottle for herself and a bottle for me. And then she decided, oh, it's not my thing. You want the one I got for myself. So I had two bottles of Flower Balm. And in the first 12 months or 14 months, I powered through both of them. So just as they were finally available here in the States, it was finally available, I, uh, I was able to get more. <coughs> Excuse me. So my bottle that I have now, I'm just about out. And I was like, oh, I've bought so much other perfume, but I still love having this scent around. So I got this little teeny tiny quarter ounce bottle of Flower Bomb. So that'll keep me going for a little bit without having to spend on it. To use my points. So that's nice. <coughs> I think something's stuck in there. And the last thing that I was really looking forward to was this amazing kit here. And this is the Give Me More Lip Kit. And I love that you can see here, It's uh, I spent $59 on it, but it's really worth $192. Can you believe that? Um, and it's split up. It has um, reds, it has nudes, it has berries, and it has pinks. And it has a variety. There's a couple of full-size things in here. I think they're full-size. I know one of them is. Um, but it's really fantastic, the sampling that you get. I did a little swatching earlier. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it out and show you what there is. And I found the best way to do this was to take the whole thing out and then start popping them out from behind because otherwise I'm like in here like this, like it almost feels childproof. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the nudes um, and I'm going to pop all these bad boys out and then we'll... Um, We'll chit chat about these. Um, but I love that it, it, the funny thing to me was that it only included one lip pencil. I thought, okay, that's cool. Um, but this one here is from Makeup Forever. And this one is in the color, oh, what's the color here? It just says Aqua Lip. Maybe it has the name on here. I don't see it. Maybe it said it on the paper. But, um, that's the color. It's very nice. It's a perfect nude color. 
and I know these stay forever. Um, they have a Stila Stay All Day Lip Vinyl Gloss. I have one of these lip vinyl glosses. I love them. I love the texture of them. They do have a very nice staying power. They are a smidge on the sticky side, but that is a gorgeous nude color. I could definitely see myself wearing a lot of that. Uh, this is from Laura Mercier. This one's called Blush. It's their Lip Glacé. Um, and the texture on this is really nice. It's a lot more sheer and it has a lot more shine to it, which I really liked. Um, and the other one, this one has more of a look of a liquid lipstick to it. And this has more of your traditional gloss where it's not quite so thick and heavy. Um, now I have one of the... Um, this is from Bare Minerals. It's one of their Marvelous Moxie, and this one isn't called Speak Your Mind. So, it seems to be fairly, you know, opaque in one swipe. That's two swipes there, but it, I think it's a really a beautiful color. Uh, the last nude that they have is Naked Dolly by Too Faced. It's one of their La Creme lipsticks. I already have a sample of this. Um, it's super tiny and super cute, but I love the packaging. And this one here is probably the lightest of all of them. And I know this color is not like a super great color for me. I could probably use it if I mix it with other things. So there's that. Um, from there, I wanted to go to the pinks. And I love it. And here they have a balm, they have a lipstick, they have one of the Too Faced Melteds. And then they have um, one of these Tarte Lip Surgeons Power Pigments. I have been wanting to try, um, but they were just, you know, I was like, no, well, do I really? I have so much lip stuff, which is why I love this package, is it's a great way to try so many things. So this is um, Posy Balm from Benefit. And what I thought was interesting about this was that, you know, look at this. That's all it is. It's like the littlest, teeniest, tiniest sample. <laughs> So here's this, and it really is literally a balm. It is a pale pink, and it's very pretty, um, and it smells like a it smells like a rose. It's so beautiful, but there's almost nothing to it. Um, from there, uh, maybe we'll go to the melted. Um, I don't know if this is a full size. It kind of looks like it's maybe not quite a full size. Um, this is 0.16 fluid ounces or five mils, um, and this is melted fuchsia. This is that Too Faced Melted, and I've been wanting to try one of these, which is why I love this, is it's a great way to try them all. There we go. Very, very bright. Really, really pretty. Um, and I love bite lipsticks, um, and I, a lot of the ones I have tend to be more reds or nudes, and I don't have this bright pink. This one's Palomino, and it's a gorgeous fuchsia. And it really, these have amazing staying power. They also don't dry your lips out. They're just fabulous. They have that Reservatrol or Reserv, yeah, I don't remember what it's called, but some sort of an ingredient from grapes. So this is Tarte Lip Surgeon's Power Pigment in Flushed. And I love that um, this is the wind up. So let's see here. Ooh, this is almost reading red to me. Looks very red and less pink. That's really pretty, but it's also a really nice formula. And it has that traditional minty smell that you get from all the tart, tart lip surgeons. <laughs> okay, now off to the berry tone things. Um, let's take a look. And there's four of these. Um, the first one here is from Buxom, and this is in Menace. I don't have any buxom lipsticks. It's really cute, super, super cute. Um, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous vampy color for fall. You know, see, and that's the great thing is that you have so many options in this. I love that. Um, this is a Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Tint and this one's in Moody. Oh, I love how sheer this is. This almost reminds me of, um, Oh, I forget what the color is. Oh. A Clinique shade. And I'm forgetting what shade it's called. Is it Black Lily? Gorgeous, though. I love it. Um, and I love that they have one of these sugars. Um, the, the lip 
conditioning treatments and this one's in berry and I've never tried the berry I've had like so many of the other ones um so oh hello I'll go through this like nobody's business that's several swipes but it's like super sheer in one swipe like whoop, gorgeous I may have to get a full size of this the fresh ones are always my favorite all right and the last one here this one I was like what it's a lip tar matte test tube I need to start swiping swatching someplace else maybe we'll go to the back of my hand now um, and this one you just need the smallest teeny tiniest little dot so I'm just gonna go with a small dot like this and first of all you can see it comes out it looks nearly black but it's like a blackened cherry um, but isn't that beautiful? Um, and what I love is that they also include a teeny tiny lip brush to go along with this. But um, I think it's a gorgeous color. So if you want it to be darker, of course, more of the lip tar. Um, I don't know that I would wear it as dark as it comes out of the tube, but I love that. And it's a beautiful, beautiful shade. And then the last ones here, there are four red shades. And I love that you, you have so many options. I think it's fabulous. Um, and they included one of their own, one of the Sephora's. So this is a Sephora Rouge Infusion. All right. Wow, this is almost like a brick red and a gloss. Um, the next one I have here is a, it's a Laura Mercier. I don't know if you can see the name on there. And this one is called Red Amour. It's their cream smooth lip color. It's so hard to read on these teeny tiny bottoms. Um, yeah, there's quite a difference between the Sephora one in the middle and then this one here. But this one has more of like a... Um, almost like a strawberry pink color to it. It's very pretty, very smooth. Um, and this is a Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. This one's an outlaw. I love her packaging with the roses. Um, and I, I know that these guys have super staying power, so. Oh wow, hello liquid lipstick. That's gorgeous. And I love how saturated her colors are. I know this one dries down to a matte. So it looks shiny now and in a couple of minutes it'll be completely matte. The last one is my favorite. It's the Hourglass Liquid Lipstick in Icon. I have this same shade, but in the lipstick in the bullet. Um, so I've always wanted to try the liquid lipstick. I thought, well, I'm not gonna get it until, until I run out of the, you know, bullet. Um, Oh, gorgeous. Hello. Whoop. There it goes. Hold on. I can't believe I just dropped it. Okay. Uh, wouldn't you know I have to do that? I feel like this one, this is the one where there's like hardly anything in here. There we go. Okay, so yeah, this last one here is um, Hourglass Icon, and it is, for me, um, this, this is kind of the, the one that I always call my Snow White lipstick. It's the, like a cherry red, and it's amazing. So, um, I know, this terrible, terrible um, light from the office, you know, like the, the glow from above office lighting. Um, but yeah, um, I think these two reds are my favorites, but I, I love all the rest of them. Look at all those swatches. Like you could have all of this and this in one box for $59. How could you not? Anyway, so yeah, swatches, reviews, Maybe I'll give you an update when I finally upload this um, as to what I think of the lipsticks. I'll probably have tried a ton of them by then. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and definitely I would recommend this kit if you're interested in trying some new stuff that maybe you just haven't gotten around to yet. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.